Hi, this is a video about grasses and particularly the type of grass that's found in Northwest Ohio. There's usually a combination of three particular types of grass that are put down on the lawns around here. It's a mixture of Kentucky blue and fescue, usually tall fescue, and ryegrass. If you have like uh, an area that has a lot of shade, they usually use fine fescue. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of the lawns in our area uh, look really good, but then there's others that are not up to par. So I tried to determine what grass looks the best, and I found that usually it's a combination of those three. Uh, one particular grass that's very heavily used is tall fescue here. Uh, tall fescue is predominant in, in our neighborhoods and uh, it makes up, I'd say, 75% of all the lawns around here and has a combination of uh, ryegrass mixed in with it and a little bit of bluegrass. I went looking to see if I could find a patch of bluegrass because when I grew up, Marion bluegrass was the big thing. And uh, now it's Kentucky bluegrass and I wanted to see if I could find a lawn or some patch of grass that had Kentucky bluegrass. And I was able to find such a patch at our front entrance here at Margate at McCord. Here's the uh, Kentucky bluegrass that I was talking about earlier. It's probably the only Kentucky bluegrass in our area that is, I'd say it's 90% Kentucky blue. And uh, let's see if we can get a close up of that. It's really beautiful. It does require a lot of water, but uh, when it does have water and sunlight, it's just magnificent. In my search for grasses, I went to Black Diamond. I talked with Mark Sullivan, which is the owner of Black Diamond, and he's very knowledgeable about what went on with grasses for the past 30 years, 40 years. And uh, he told me that it was an interesting story. So when I went over to Black Diamond and was talking with Mark Sullivan about the different types of grasses, he came up uh, with an interesting story about Inverness, which is one of the most popular golf courses in Toledo. And I think it's in the top 50 of the USGA uh, around the country. And Mark told me that about 12 years ago, Inverness went through a six-year program to, to change the type of bent grass that they were using on their golf course. And it took them six years of aerating to come up with this change of bent grass so that they could have a, a better formulation for their fairways and greens. This year, Inverness just went through a, um, a complete overhaul and uh, they tore up all the fairways and uh, they put down all new grass and what they came up with was a blend of nine different grasses, strains, from a company in Oregon. Oh, actually it's a dozen put more than a dozen strains of grass in the fairway and greens. And they named this grass Pure Distinction. Okay, we're gonna start out with a picture of tall fescue, which is the predominant seed that is used in the blend, used for most of the uh, lawns in the area. And it's a very thick leaf and as you can see, it has veins running through the leaf. And when the lawnmower cuts off the top, if it has a ragged edge, the lawnmower needs to be sharpened. The blades need to be sharpened. So that's a good way to tell whether your lawnmower needs to be sharpened or not, is look at the, the cuttings of the grass. Some more tall fescue. And it's all over the place. It's the big
big thick leafy grass. Tall fescue. Okay, next, here we have fine fescue. So this is its little brother, fine fescue. It is very thin and is usually planted in shaded areas because it doesn't do very well in the sun. So it's just got real thin blades and they cover fairly thickly, it, thick on the grass. It, it looks kind of like um, hair stands up and it's real thin and it, it's got a good covering. And this is fine fescue. Very fine. Good ground covering for shaded areas. Next, here is Kentucky bluegrass. And there's a, a good patch of it close by, so I was able to get some good pictures of it. And get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. And you can tell Kentucky bluegrass by the canoe tip that it has. It doesn't grow in a clump. It grows along a vine. So it, the offshoots come off of that. A one single shoot runs along the ground. And there's a good picture. Kentucky bluegrass. very dark. It, it grows pretty much anywhere. Kentucky blue grass. More Kentucky blue. And then next, what we have here is perennial rye. Now this is the other combination that they like to stick in with Kentucky blue and fescue. So it's rye, bluegrass and fescue and it grows in clumps like this. There's a couple of clumps right there. And there's a close-up. And this is perennial rye. So those three blend those three seeds blended together give a really good hardy growth for northwest Ohio and pretty much all through the north to make it through the winter and summer. Next I've got a picture of the blends, how it looks when they're all blended together. There's a picture of the blended grass from a distance. And there it is a little bit closer, primarily tall fescue, very full, very green, lush grass. Primarily because of the tall fescue, because it's so thick. A lot of people mistake the tall fescue for weeds because it, it's so thick and gnarly. It'll give you an idea of what your lawn could look like with those a, a blend of those three, providing you put put some water on it and give it a little bit of sunlight. That's all the pictures I have of the individual as well as the blended. Thanks for watching.